So here's what I'm running. It is 316 L or 316 L, uh, three quarters thick, uh, stainless. It's been cut with a water jet. Uh, problem I've been running is breaking drill bits and uh, blowing up miscellaneous tools. For the drilling pass, is uh, feed rate is 1.5. Uh, obviously, I'm drilling to the bottom. I've probed to the bottom because uh, I have a sacrificial piece of aluminum. Uh, starts off at uh, 0.83, and the spindle is 600 RPM. And this is, it takes between, uh, it'll spike to 50% sometimes. And this is, a, I believe, a 15 horse machine. Uh, it's a Haas GR510 2008 model, I believe. So, here is what it does. Sometimes it makes noise. The noise you hear is the uh, the swerf hitting my makeshift cover so it doesn't throw coolant all over the shop. And it bounces around like that all the time. Or not all the time. Usually whenever the drill bit gets used a little bit, it'll start doing that. But about halfway through toward the bottom. And this is not through spindle coolant. This is straight through the part. No pecking, no nothing. And that's the bottom. <clears throat> Usually what I have to do is come over here and clean the swerf off of the drill bit. But as you can see... There's nothing there. And this is a straight up cobalt drill bit. Uh, I believe it's an O because it was a convenient size that I hadn't broken. Uh, and it's actually not breaking somehow. Here. I've done about 10 holes with this so far. Ooh, turn that off. I uh, don't know if it's going to focus. Oh, there it was. Anyway, you can almost. <laughs> well, for starters, it's not broken. Come on. Oh. There it is. So, anyway, it is perfectly sharp right now. And these are cheap Harbor Freight drill bits. I read somewhere on a forum, someone said, oh yeah, use just cobalt drill bits. I was like, no fucking way. Those things are going to break as soon as they just get close to it. Oh. Alright, there it goes. Anyway, if you're trying to drill 316L, there's your starting point. <laughs>